With so many people staying home during the coronavirus crisis, there are concerns about staying healthy. People are moving less, not working out in gyms, and may not be keeping up with healthy habits. So how can supplements help you? Circle of Health reporter Lori Corbin looks at the options. What we want to do is give our body all the nutrients we need so that our immune systems function optimally so that we can stay healthy and fight off any bacteria or viruses. Gelson's dietitian Jessica Siegel says start with a wide variety of produce. That's where you'll get the nutrients your body needs. There's a lot of actually good reasons why mushrooms are such a good food for your immune system. Some mushrooms can have vitamin D in them. Also, there's these large carbohydrate molecules called beta-glucans. They have been shown to really help balance the immune system. Then go beyond oranges for vitamin C foods. Brussels sprouts, kale, strawberries, cantaloupe, and leafy greens. Foods with bright orange color also help. Carrots, um, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, and of course, oranges. So those foods have uh, vitamin A and the carotenoids that are really great for your immune system. Look to olive oil and seeds to get vitamin E. And while there's no clear cut answer why chicken soup is good for you, studies indicate it may thin mucous membranes, rehydrate and replenish nutrients. And as you cook, nutritionist Alyssa Goodman says add more herbs. They're antivirals. Rosemary, you've got thyme, you've got sage. When I make soups, I am consistently adding herbs like crazy. Goodman has a line of products that include healthy soups and salads, but for a few weeks she's offering her seven day reset recipes for free on her website. Soup is an easy way to absorb nutrients so you don't your digestive system doesn't have to work overtime. Be mindful about the other things you might be doing that might have a negative effect on your immunity. You can't chase your bad habits with good food and then think that you're going to be covered. What else are we eating that could suppress our immune system? So things like sugar come to mind. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.